Philosophy has long been considered the science of sciences. The question of how this statement can be understood is not without interest given that philosophy is an all-penetrating critical reflection of thinking related to the entire scientific system of conclusions. In philosophy, the form of the content of science is the content of its form. And all sciences, knowingly or unknowingly, are imbued with one or another philosophical principle, which is more noticeable in the field of humanitarian knowledge. But these principles equally determine the conditions of natural scientific research. In, re in, this, rega and in this regard, all scientific disciplines may be called humanitarian. The fundamental separation of natural sciences from humanitarian sciences is actually an illusion created by philosophy. The fundamental idea of philosophy, the so-called idea of separation and identity, which we analyzed more in detail in our second session of the series on metaphilosophy, called the basis of the dogmas of philosophy. So that is, this idea is clearly manifested uh, in the naive self-reflection of science, which images itself to be an isolated field of ob objective research, which together with other scientific fields has formed a holistic picture of the world composed of special areas of scientific activity. So science is built from semi-finished products using ready-made concepts and principles which methodological justification has always been the lot of philosophy. And the naivety of scientists does not allow them to realize that the fate of scientific theorems and axioms is ultimately determined by philosophical activity, which prepares the ground for science itself as such. And without philosophizing, science becomes a victim of primitive philosophy devoid of holistic understanding of phenomena. And science without philosophy, that is the ideal of positivism, is a pronounced manifestation of uh, philosophical ideology, according to which one in a philosophical sense uh, can answer affirmatively to the following etymological questions uh, on, of Socrates. It is possible for the same person knowing uh, something not to know what he knows. And is it true that you know what you do not know?